Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, we'll look at how to turn on the grouped email view in Gmail, and I'll show you how to display all related emails together. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Gmail inbox. You'll see in my inbox that I have a number of related emails which are all shown individually. This is the standard way emails are displayed in most email services, Outlook being the most common. However, Gmail offers an enhanced feature where it will automatically group all related emails with the same subject together for convenience and to make it easier to read them as a conversation. Gmail calls this feature Conversation View, though you may also hear it described as email threading or email grouping. It's quick and easy to turn this feature on in Gmail. To do that, we first need to go into the settings in Gmail. I'll move my mouse to the top right of the inbox. You'll see there's a number of icons shown here, but the one I'm interested in is the cog or gear icon for the settings section. Let's click on that. A panel then opens that shows some of the more common settings changes you can make in Gmail, but we need to go into the details settings of Gmail. So I'm going to click on the See All Settings button at the top of the panel. A new window then opens, showing a number of heading tabs. But the one we're interested in is the General section, which is open by default. If I scroll down that page a little, you'll see there's a Conversation View section. At the moment, Conversation View is turned off. To turn it on, we'll just click on the Conversation View On option. Don't forget that in the desktop version of Gmail, you also need to scroll to the bottom of the settings page and click on the save changes button in order to apply the change you've just made. Once you do that, Gmail will refresh and the inbox will be reloaded. And now you can see that the emails that were previously shown individually are now grouped together and show a count of the number of emails in the conversation next to the names of the email sender and recipient. Any new emails that you receive in this conversation will also be automatically added to this group. And if I click into the email conversation, you can read the email exchange. I hope you find this Woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe for free so that other people can find it too. Thanks for watching.